Hey guys, it's Vance again, your World Pride video blogger for all things here in Toronto. So I'm sure I'm not the only one who's noticed all the construction that's going up here in the village. I recently sat down with David Wooten, who's the BIA here, to find out more about the developments. That's for World Pride, or for better developments here in the village? Well, I think it's for a bit of both. I think the development, uh, the, the modification of Coffter Park is for increasing the beautification of this area, increasing the use and size of the park so that it's uh, available to a lot more people in the area, especially the incoming people, and also to benefit the experience of World Pride. So what did you can even say what is exactly going on in Cosmo Park? Well, they're putting from you can actually go online here at the 519 to inspect the illustration and the, mm -hmm. uh, the changes that are taking place. Um, however, there's going to be a new uh, uh, circular benching throughout the park. There's going to be a fabulous LED lighting system where lights will change color and will enhance events or just evening activity. Um, there's going to be a mound, I believe, which is a really interesting piece in the middle of the park where people will be able to sit and have uh, you know, the sun or sit around and relax, similar to what we have in Yorkville. So it'll become more of a community space. And the thing I like the best about it is that the walls have come down, so the sidewalk now blends into the park space, which creates an even more inviting area. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, be nice. So uh, there's also, I heard that there was a rumor that like Church Street was going to be painted pink. Is that true? Or well, those are discussions. Like I mean, those are discussions that were made at the Village Study, which is a, a recent uh, project that the 519 and TD Bank County Trust is doing together. Whether we have that for World Pride, I do not know, because in my experience here, I know there's months, if not years, of planning to bring that to the street. Um, but we are looking at bringing more artistic visions and installations for the World Pride experience. Uh, yeah, and especially on that artistic uh, for the village, uh, the mural project yes. uh, is probably one of the most beautiful things that are going up right it now. It is. It's fantastic. And the, and the process has been really interesting as well. I was lucky to be a part of that myself to a certain degree under the curator's direction. And uh, again, Kristen Wong Tan's team at Ward 27. Um, the, yeah, the murals are quite exciting because in its process we've learned a little bit of history and we've met a lot of new different people, people from different ages and generations who are part of this community. And that has been the result of the visions that we see on the buildings now. Um, yeah, I know, especially when you're talking about history, that I think Troy's mural is on bathhouse raids, right? Or that's what it's going to be depicting. Right. That's right. Um, yeah, so definitely everything that uh, is going up is going to, everyone that's coming for World Pride should see it, uh, should learn more about mm -hmm. what is going on oh, with the yes. Reasons Why. Because it's important that there is a queer story told throughout the village. There's also now, I believe, a um, electronic audio experience you can have with Queer Story, uh, which will, uh, and there's postings throughout this community and outside of this community as well that explain the history of Toronto's gay village, gay and lesbian, transgender, bisexual village. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think there's a lot more letters. Yeah, there is. Right that's, it's, that's it's actually like, like t over ten letters. It's like it is, it. and and a lot of people adopt the word queer, like myself, because it does basically enable everything. I mean, it doesn't. It takes us out of a letter. I mean, whether we're queer or not, you can be queer in a queer spirit of sort. So I think yeah, queer sure. is a good word to define. But I know a lot of folks have a problem with that word. But you know, it's, it's just quicker than saying all the letters because I don't remember them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's one that gets added on all the time, right? <laughs> yeah. So I can tell the, the village is uh, very passionate to you or close to your heart, right? Uh, yeah. What does it mean to you for World Pride to come here to the village here in Toronto? Right now, it honestly means a lot of work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's okay, because that's the work I enjoy. But uh, um, to me, it's, a, it's, a, it's, 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 it's very important because it's so relevant and when we hear what's going on the other side of the world or when I go back home to let's say London, Ontario and I see the, the neglect and the, 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 there's no gay community there that, that's visible anymore, um, that uh, has a place, has a presence in the city, I, you know, then I'm real, I feel like you know, this is even more important that we celebrate this because this, this for, above everything else is showing that people can live in harmony and safety and community and, it, and as our village is transitioning to a, a kind of a different village, we can live with a wide variety of Torontonians as well. Whether you're of a different culture, or of different sexuality, or gender, whether you're young or old, or just an infant. Um, this is a place of entry level for a lot of people. And um, so I think the idea of a world experience here is, is important because it does celebrate the people that have 
been the foundation of this community, which has been all, all walks of life. Great. Well, thank you. I think that's a great way to end off. Just okay. It is a good way to end off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely. Uh, you have a great love of the village, I can see, and um, I'm sure that will show on World Pride when we see all the new changes and everything. Yeah. So, so. thank you very much for sitting down with thank me. Thank you very much. Thanks yeah. for coming by. And take care. Thank you.